Installing third party certificate on Send Desktop Server 7.6. Okay, in previous video, we used Wizard and configured our Citrix Zen Desktop site, but our Citrix storefront by default is configured to use HTTP, not HTTPS. You see, the URL is HTTP, and down there is a warning also. Okay. See, and this is not good for security, number one. And number two, Citrix receiver by default is configured to use HTTPS, not HTTP. So if I try to type this URL in Citrix receiver, it won't accept it. So I have to make exceptions. To avoid all of this hassle, what I would like to do, we would like to go to our IIS. We will highlight the server. And then we will go for server certificates. Yeah. And we will like to create certificate request in order to get an SSL certificate that we can use for the server. Of course, you can use your Active Directory certificates as well. But again, uh, if you have some clients which are not joined to domain and there is some administrative overhead, so I prefer to use third party. It's your choice at the end. So I'll type values, Australia, EU. Yeah. I'll, I will fill out this form. Or actually, I already filled it up. And yeah, next. And uh, default is fine. I would like to change the key length though to 2048. Most of the organization they go for 2048 or more. It's better. And specify file name where I would like to keep the certificate request or save the certificate request so that later on I can send this request to certificate authority. So I will use this certrec.txt and it will be saved under that. So, good. We have generated certificate requests. Let me go to this folder and open this file for you with notepad. And this is the certificate request. Make sure if you send the certificate request to SSL provider or certificate provider, you need to copy everything from dash to dash, from hyphen to hyphen, something like this. Yep. Everything. This is how you should do it. So what I will do, I will copy it, and I will go to my certificate provider website, and I would like to order certificate, and once everything is done, I will get the certificate, I will come back. Okay, guys. Yep. I got the certificate. So I'll go, I will go select complete certificate request. Specify where did I save the certificate. And this is the one. Friendly name for the certificate I can I can write the same name I think that's fine xt1 uh, let's say dot itsense.com and click OK make sure you select personal so now my certificate is getting installed on the server.
Okay, so certificate has been installed successfully. It's from Komodo, and so far so good. Now the certificate has been installed, what I would like to do, I would like to go to default site, which is in my case used by Citrix installation. And you will go to under under bindings. And we like to add HTTPS. Yep. Port 443 for all IPs for any host name. I would like to choose this certificate. So what I want the server, I want the server to use this certificate for all HTTPS requests. This is what I want. So after selecting, click OK. I'll stop and start or basically restart services. And this is it. Certificate has been installed and it's been configured. Let's make a test. Um, let me fire up this Internet Explorer uh, and type a URL, which is https xd1.itsense.com and 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 ah come okay so let me just remove automatic settings this is this oh, just bear with me guys explorer is not one of my favorite browser okay see good no warning why is that because the certificate is signed by trusted certificate authority by Komodo and it recognizes that so this was the certificate that we have installed so this is it now we have installed the certificate and of course in one of next video we will change URL of storefront from HTTP to HTTPS thank you guys thank you once again and see you in next video